This video is to demonstrate how I got my outdoor shower system set up. So I'm going to turn my solar setup to an outdoor shower setup. So what I'm going to be doing is um, this battery has a cover here to keep the um, elements out of it. This is my solar charger right here that I have to um, change these wire plugs off and use heat shrink to keep it um, from out of the element so that I can then attach this water pump to this battery using these wires to make these wires longer. So this is my 12 volt solar system setup. It's uh, 100 watts. So what I've done is I've attached all three panels and I ran them up and through the rafters of the outdoor shower and then down to the battery and we are charging. A reducer bushing does not come with this. So this is the only thing that uh, I needed to get the job done. So I'm gonna attach this and show you my shower. Would you look at that? Still have a slight leak, but my goodness. I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna mount everything here, but we're pumping right out of here. So unfortunately, this pump did not come with a on-off switch, and it only works when you put the power directly to the battery there. Oh, getting a little wet. So I am going to figure out how to repurpose from my old inverter here these wires make it easy to attach to this battery so that I can have better water on demand. Welcome to my off-grid solar shower setup with propane heat. So I have a Camp Lux edition portable um, hot water heater. So we've got your gas, you get your water outlet which connects to this shower head right here. And then you get your water inlet which feeds from this tank right here and it pumps via solar powered um, battery and there's my uh, propane heater back there there's the pump and now I turn it on it's a self priming pump so now all you do is you turn your shower head on and look at that you can see the flame on the inside. Ooh, that water's nice! Oh, oh. Yes! Game changer. Just a naked cake and a shower over here. First one. I want to show you guys this system is very intense. So the water, the pressure coming through that pump right there, I put it to almost low because it, it actually <laughs> it, it gained so much pressure that it blew this hose right out so that's to very low and the heat oh my god it gets hot so I also put in a um, a mirror so I can check my back for ticks because those things are nasty and they're out full throttle right now so I'm <laughs> just having a shower you might see my sunset window yes sir it's also a good way to let the mosquitoes in but what are you gonna do I also dug a hole um, before I put the pallet down, before you did actually, to gauge when uh, the shower needs to end because I don't want to waste water. Um, it's probably, uh, I don't know, six inches deep, but it's very thick clay so it doesn't drain very well, but just a general idea. Reporting in that this shower is 100% worth it and I have zero issues with it after doing a little bit of tweaking and I would highly recommend. Let me know if you have any questions.